Hello friend, welcome to my channel 5 Minute Pediatric. Few days back I posted this picture on Facebook. The picture was uh, of one month old baby with uh, greenish whitish patch over his skull. So what is the diagnosis and uh, what are the treatment options for this child? So this is case of seborrheic dermatitis, what we call cradle cap. This is very common condition and is seen most commonly in infant. Age group is three week to 12 month with peak at three month of age. There is no sex predilection. Both male and female are equally affected. So what are the, the reason? Uh, the cause is not exactly known. It may be related to hyperactivity of sebaceous glands responsive to increased maternal androgen. Uh, Malaysia furfur have been implicated. So what are the clinical feature of cradle cap? Cradle cap it is, uh, it is a non-inflammatory eruption of greasy yellowish scale on the skull. The vertex and frontal area are most commonly affected. Uh, it is usually non-prorytic and infant are otherwise generally well. So what are the differential diagnosis for this condition? We have tinea capitis, psoriasis, atopic dermatitis, impetigo and contact irritant dermatitis. These are the differential for this. So how uh, is it diagnosed? So totally it is uh, diagnosed clinically uh, on the basis of lesion over the skull. So now what are the treatment options we have? So in mild and localized case, either application of emollient or repeated sampling followed by careful removal of scales by using soft toothbrush or comb. Uh, can be for mild and localized disease. For more extensive or resistant disease, uh, we can use low potency topical steroid like the hydrocortisone 1% or uh, most commonly I like use um, ketoconazole 2% for 1 to 2 week. Uh, application for 1 to 2 week, uh, this condition usually resolve. Uh, topical steroid may be preferred if there is significant uh, sign of inflammation. So, uh, what is the usual course of the disease? So, this condition is benign, self-limiting and dissolved without intervention over the course of week to several months. If disease persists beyond 12 months, we have to consider other diagnosis as well. Hope you enjoyed this video. Kindly like, subscribe and follow my channel. Thank